Uh, quick, another strong day for Essex. We're 247 ahead and we'll all do one wicket into Kent second innings. What's your take on the game at halfway? Yeah, it's obviously a pretty pleasing couple of days that we've had there, especially considering they chose to bat first. I think we bowled, well, we bowled very well to restrict them to just above 200 and then obviously the plan was to try and bat as big as we can, which was set up by Sheff and Brown last night. Obviously, unfortunately, Brown, he couldn't carry on. But um, yeah, and then as a batting unit, we managed to catalyse and get ourselves a big score and well ahead of the game. And we're obviously definitely a team that has more experience of batting first, so with that in mind, is it quite pleasing to come from behind and then build a big lead and we've done that quite successfully? Um, yeah, definitely. Like, obviously, it's pretty much the same game plan, it's just flipped around uh, and stuff. But yeah, obviously, it's nice. We did joke right out at the start, we've batted first in all but one game, I think, this year. So um, yeah, it was obviously pleasing to do it that way and then still, uh, still be in the driver's seat going into the third and fourth innings. And you're winning personally, you definitely took the attack to the bowlers on a couple of occasions. You know, that's obviously something we've seen more and more of in red ball cricket in England over the past 12, 13 months. But is that aggressive style, is that something that you're quite keen to play in personally? Um, yeah, if it, the opportunity comes, more just try and play the situation um, and try and decide what I think is best in that situation. Sometimes it might be sitting in like it was at the start of the innings, and other times we might be trying to take someone for 12 or 18 off and over, which probably you wouldn't used to do um, or wouldn't used to be thought of. But if that can happen, then great. So, um, yeah, obviously I want to try and play in an aggressive manner because that's probably what suits me most. But, um, yeah, not just um, dumb aggression, more try and yeah find the situation and then go with it. And obviously some of the bowlers that you did take the attack to were the spinners. Now, you're a spinner yourself. Does that help or aid you in any way, do you think, when you're facing a spinner batting? Uh, yeah, sometimes. Obviously, you don't really want to go out to them sometimes. But, um, yeah, you kind of know what they're trying to do a bit and you can try and use that for yourself obviously uh, but yeah it wasn't spinning too much today so just try to take advantage if the field was set in my favour really. And there was a really valuable batting contribution at the end from Simon Harmer you shared in a big partnership with him we've spoken a lot about his ability to change games with the ball but he's a handy batter as well. Yeah no definitely I'd say definitely an all-rounder he's batted seven for us pretty much all year obviously eight in this game so yeah he's definitely more than capable with the bat but yeah, it was good to see him play there. Obviously, he probably played a similar innings where it took a while to get going and then he was pretty devastating in that last session, probably the last hour of our batting. So, yeah, cause hopefully it gives him a bit of momentum to go and take some wickets tomorrow. And then later on, obviously, opted to declare Stick Kent in for what's you nearly know, a tricky late period in cricket. Did that figure in your thinking, um, the idea that, you know, the, the clouds were gathering and the lights were on? Um, yeah, definitely. I think um, that... We know what we all know, played enough cricket, it's a horrible time to bat them last few overs at the end, especially when we're 250 ahead. So, um, yeah, I think that naturally got into it, and thankfully, we could score fast enough today to enable us to do that. And yeah, only got to get nine more now, so perfect.